I suggest starting birthday rituals one month ahead, or to be precise, 40 days ahead. In fact, if your so-called guardian is working well, if the program of your destiny is favorable, it will always work in a way for you not to get into debt for a longer period of time than one year, which means that fate will always set up such circumstances a month, 40 days before your birthday, that will force you to pay all your dues. This is where the belief comes from that everything falls apart right before one's birthday, as if it just sat and waited for an entire year to do so. Not before the new year or some other holiday or event, but precisely before your birthday. This is the way that the inner equilibrium program works. It doesn't allow you to accumulate debt and forces you to pay it off on time. 40 days before your birthday, I suggest that you cleanse, cleanse your consciousness, cleanse your energy. There are specific runic formulas for it. Since I am a master of runes, I mainly work with runes, but any system would have magic rituals for cleansing, whether through prayer, fasting, spells, incantations, any means that relates specifically to the cleansing of one's mind, one's consciousness from negativity. Under negativity, I don't mean negative energy, but rather information that belittles you in the context of your own rights. In other words, everything, what you didn't return during the year, your wrong actions and finished thoughts and matters, as well as unfulfilled promises, or anything that aggravates your karma, as our Buddhist colleagues would say. Everything that aggravates your karma must be cleared. If you don't understand on your own what your specific debts are, but you have this guardian, then it will organize certain circumstances that will force you to pay off your debts. If you haven't noticed the signs of fate, if you keep sticking to your delusions, then just before your birthday, about three days prior, you will experience a condensed series of events that will heavily overload your mind and consciousness. And this is what is called the last sign. Because what comes next is an unpleasant event happening on the day of your birthday. Namely, that what you fear. You might get ill, you may get into a fight with your loved ones, you will get hit where it hurts, in other words. And it will force you, if not to repent, then to feel a certain amount of unpleasant emotions that will act as a compensation for your annual debts. In order not to bring the situation to an extreme and do everything correctly, start getting ready for your birthday no later than a month prior to it. Clean, close off debts. Not before the new year, as we are accustomed to, but before the birthday. It is necessary to pay off all debts, fulfill all leftover promises, clean the house, clean and reconsider your contacts, clean and review your channels. Simply open your phone book and go through all of your contacts. Could it be that you owe someone something? Maybe you didn't keep a promise you have given, maybe you owe someone money, or maybe you borrowed a book and have never given it back, or you promised to tell something to someone, or promised a suggestion, or to do something but haven't done so. Just simply fulfill these promises. Make an effort. Spend a day on that, but do fulfill these promises. And you will notice a sense of relief that will come after that. Clear all debts and unfinished business before your birthday. The birthday is your personal celebration. Essentially, this is the moment, the birthday, is the moment when one's consciousness, if it is sensible and developed enough, remembers or has the opportunity to remember the initial agreement, the reason why you came here. And to do so, the consciousness has to be freed from the piled up karma, namely all the accumulated debts. Because fulfilling your agreements is your duty. Me, I am such and such. I am giving the following number of years and hours of life in this three-dimensional reality. I receive my body and I receive the right to use the energy of life and promise that in return I will do this and that. This is the initial agreement. With time, we add certain additional responsibilities to our plate. In reverse order, from this day into the past.
Therefore, in order not to let this mass grow bigger, it is necessary to free yourself from these debts. And as soon as we free ourselves from debts, this initial agreement, this so-called initial memory, will start to resurface. This is what we are actually trying to achieve, to remember why we are here. Therefore, take advantage of this opportunity. It is given to each person each year, every single year.